Um, I mean, th to some extent, we are still trying to look at how well we can define certain patterns of activity that represent different meditative states. Uh, of course, again, we're, we're always kind of at, th at the limitation of we, we are relying on the individuals to be honest with us about what they did experience and to tell us what they felt and so forth. And at least in our initial studies, we are trying to match up what they say with what we see on the scans. There do seem to be some distinct changes that we see in the brain when people are meditating that are fairly substantially different compared to a baseline normal waking scan, and we tend to see a number of different areas of the brain being activated. Uh, some areas are actually deactivated, and in a rather unusual way, uh, depending on the actual practice that we're, we're, we're studying. But when we see that, that tends to show us to some degree that this is a person who is, in fact, in a meditation state or in a prayer state. I don't know if we're at the state, at the point yet in our research, though, where if you said, here's a scan, is this person meditating? I'm not sure we would be able to say that definitively because all of the scans that we do, all of the studies that we do, are looking at kind of non-specific changes in the brain. So they're looking at changes in blood flow, changes in activity, and there can be many reasons why those different changes could potentially occur. And, and of course, I get asked a lot, a lot about, well, how does this meditative state compare to somebody who's creating art or somebody who's focusing on a mathematical problem or a philosophical issue? And to some extent, I think that's true. I think that there is a continuum of experiences that people can have along these lines that some can be extremely powerful, some can be very mild, but we all, in some sense, are capable of engaging in those kinds of experiences and having them to some degree or another. It's just a matter of how strong they are and what specific elements are involved in them.